Hey loves, welcome to another hair video. Today's video is sponsored by Yolisa Hair and we have a unit to work with from them. But first of all, let's get into everything that came in this package. So we have the wig which we're gonna get into. Also came with other goodies. A pair of lashes was included in the box. We had a sateen band slash scarf so you can use to tie down your hair when you want to go to bed or you know to style it too we have a wig cap and we also have a satin bag where i can keep my wig when i am not wearing it and it came with an elastic band for you to cook those edges and lay it down nice and flat and it's black and pink so cute <laughs> it also came with a styling brush for you to do your edges and to style your baby hair so now let's get into our wig of the day i'm working with the short curly human hair wig this is in 16 inches and it came with a 5x5 hd closure and the density of this hair is 250 percent i love the curls so much it was so soft i've never worked with short curly hair before so i'm really excited about this one it came with an elastic band and it also came with combs to help you secure it properly i definitely love how you know this was done well the curls are everything and more and the volume is perfect now the closure came pre-plucked it came pre-plucked guys so i was just in love you can see how natural that hairline is looking already yeah so this is our week for the day and yeah i'm ready to do some finishing touches to it right now i'm just going in with my hot comb because the hairline came pre-plucked i don't need to do anything so i'm just going to go in with some styling wax and also use my hot comb to get every single thing to the back this helps me a lot with installing the hair when my hairline is already neat and everything is taken to the back so strands are not getting in the way when i'm trying to melt the lace and also when i'm trying to cut the lace as well First of all, we have cornrows done today, so this week can stay on my head really flat. It's not the neatest cornrow, but at least it's something, okay? So I'm gonna start off with brushing my edges just to you know ensure everything is all good to the back. I'm using the got to be styling gel and I'm using the brush that came in the package. So I just want to take some. I'm trying to make it open but not make too much noise. Okay, I'll still come and take some more, but this is what we have and just i want everything to go to the back so i'm going to go in with the hair dryer because it is very very like it's liquid it doesn't feel like gel so i need it to dry before i go in with the wig cap So I'm not satisfied with how my hair looks after the drying. It literally feels like nothing is holding my edges back, to be honest. So I'm going in with my regular wax. I'm just going to focus it on this front part because this is where we have the five by five closure. Mm -hmm. Now this is giving my hair a better hold and the reason why I'm doing this is because I am not going to be doing like a bald cap method So I'm going to pull my wig cap at about here So I need my hair like my front hair to be flat so it's not getting into the lace All that stuff when it's just messy like it shows when you cut the lace that your hair is like underneath and you know causing a little bit of friction there so that's why I'm really trying to ensure everything is laying down flat before I go in with my wig cap. So now it's time for the wig cap. It's usually in a set of two. Yeah. So I'm just going to use one. So next it's time for us to tint this lace. I'm going to be using this makeup spray I got off Amazon. I'm so sorry if you guys can't see it because it's super bright. And then a brush as well. So 
I'm going to spray to the brush or spray on the brush. Okay. And then let's just, yep. So guys, now it's time for us to wear the wig. I'm going to use the same spray to tint the lace. So the inner part of the lace, I would go in with some of that spray and then just touch on the front part a little bit. I really hope my camera is focusing well. Let's get some more spray on it. Use what's left and just touch on. So now this is what we have. You can see that it has tinted a little bit and the inner part too has some tint in it. Ooh. You guys seeing this hairline? Are you guys seeing the hairline? Like, see, it looks so, so good, guys. And the volume is voluming. I love how the curls are. I love that it just sits on my shoulder. This is so beautiful, guys. Like, I'm trying to put it in the middle because you guys know I always struggle with finding the middle of my head. <laughs> so I'm trying to... Are we there yet? I think a little bit to this side. Okay, so this is what the wig looks like. I absolutely love it. Like I'm used to, I don't think I've, I have any short curly hair like this. And yeah, I actually like this one and how it gives me a different look. Plus, you know, this hairline needs no work. Like I just need to cut the lace and it's something that I can wear as a glueless five by five closure wig. If I'm going to melt it, I would just use a little bit of the spray just to probably melt like this edge part. Okay, but yeah, let me cut it off and let's see how it comes out. We need to define this curls a bit more and yeah, we are good to go. I'm so excited because man, I love me a good wig. Like I love when the wigs are also effortless like this one. So on a Monday morning, I'm trying to rush to school or I'm trying to rush to somewhere. I just throw this on, you know, wet it a little bit, let the curls come to life and we're good to go. Yep. So grab my scissors. All right. And we need to get cutting. So I'm going to come closer a little bit so y'all can see what I'm doing as I'm cutting off the lace. I want to cut it first, see if I need to melt it. And if I need to melt it, I would melt it. If not, then we just move on to styling the hair. So this is what we have now that we've cut off the lace. What I did was to take it in at the edge here because you don't want the, you know, the edge of the lace would be thicker because it's folded into two there. You don't want that part to be showing too much. So I decided to just cut it like this way inside a bit. Yeah, so I'm going to drag it forward because I feel like it's too much to the back, just a little bit here and here. So just to make sure everything is perfect, I would be using some spray. So this is the Ebbing Wonder Spray. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit of this on just this front part here. And I'm using the tail of my comb to just press that in. So I'm going in with the headband just to cook it for a few minutes. Okay, so it's time for us to take off the band now. Okay. 
So just to ensure a better blend, I'm going in with my concealer. It is a little bit darker than my skin color. I don't like to use the one that is just my skin color because the lace is like quite bright. So I'm trying to make it like my skin color. So I usually go with something darker. Yeah, so this is what we have for the hairline. Now we need to define these curls just so that it looks way better. I'm sorry if my hair has been touching my microphone. Like that's one thing that I struggle with when it comes to making hair videos. I think my hair is always like touching my microphone. Sometimes I remove it. Sometimes it makes it into the final cut. <laughs> but most times I take out the clip like where my hair is touching my microphone. Um, yeah, so like as I was saying, we need to define this curl. So I'm going to go in with some water and my water has like conditioner mixed with it. So like spray, spritz, that's what they call it, kind of, yeah, that's what I'm gonna use. So next I'm going to be using some hair mousse. This is from Laurel. I'm just going to shake it a little bit first. Okay. So I decided to do one side first so we kind of see the difference that it makes but this is what this side looks like. You can see that the curls look really good. Okay, it's a bit wet now so I'm going to have to leave it to dry for a little while but yep, let's do the same thing to this side. So you simply just wet your hair with some water, go in with your hair mousse and you're good to go. So this is what we have after using water and mousse on both sides. It has, you can see that it has relaxed a little bit. I'm going to leave it to dry while I do my makeup, but before then I want to touch up on my edges just a little bit. So I don't really want to do like baby hair, baby hair, but I just want to bring out some just so it kind of goes with the curly hair vibe that we have. So I just need to take this, use these pins to hold the hair to the back. A little bit section a little part of the hair But I ended up doing a little baby hair in front just because I felt like the front part was looking like too serious. So just something there, a little bit, almost insignificant. <laughs> Guys, so this is what we have. I'm going to do my makeup and I'm also going to leave the hair to dry. If it hasn't dried so well, I might run my blow dryer through it, but I like how the curls are looking. I can't wait for it to dry and it comes, you know, back up with that nice volume. Yup, so let's go beat this face. Yeah. Hey guys, so this is what we have now as the final look. It looks great, guys. Like, I love how the curls came out. I love it so much. It looked nice before defining it, I won't lie. So defining the curls, I think it just kind of made it come together more. Yeah, but it's, I feel like I could have skipped it and it would have still, you know, come out pretty well. Okay, I am in love with this hairline. Like, I feel like just taking the hair to the back, like, all the time. Like, if anyone is talking to me, I'm just going to be like, 
yeah i can hear you like because i just love how it looks i even like the play baby hair that i did there very easy for me to just you know run my hands through the curls i absolutely love how these curls like look the middle part definitely looks good but y'all know i'm gonna try to open another part so i'm thinking of opening the part here but i don't want it to be like a part part i just want to be able to take the hair like let it come this way a little bit that's what i want to do but first of all let's perfect this middle part we need to use some concealer here so that the part is you know clean so i've touched up on the party now and yeah um guys let me know if you would love to own this i feel like this is so perfect for people that don't like stress like the curls are stress-free because there are some wigs that come out like they come a little bit blown out and they have to brush you know use a curling cream to define the curls before you get this beauty but like with this one you don't even have to stress just some water spray your wig maybe before you shower by the time you're done like dressing up your wig should be ready if you want to melt your lace more just go in with some spray and you're good to go if not you can just wear it run your hands through the curls a little bit and you are good to go i love plugging you guys to easy and comfortable you know ways to look beautiful because we have to look beautiful at the same time we cannot come and kill ourselves okay so before i open up the side part i do want to try something that i've seen i see it a lot with natural hair girls like they kind of take their hair to the back this way pin it and yeah the rest is just like volume volume but the front part you know is taken to the back i want to try it out with this wig and see how it comes out i think it's going to come out like really really nice i don't know how to weave so i'm not going to weave i'm just going to twist it together and then use a bobby pin to secure it i think it's going to come out really well so this is another way that you can rock this wig or any other curly wig that you have So this is what the hairstyle looks like. It's not perfect because I think ideally you're meant to weave this part and I don't know how to weave, especially weave my own hair. So I decided to improvise and I use pins to secure it at the back here, just at the top here. Yeah, so because I twisted it, so I have some that's together that is giving here some kind of like extra volume on this side as well. Yeah, so this is like super cute. Now I feel like a natural hair girl. Like I might not have 4C hair, but yeah, I have a wig that makes me feel that way. <laughs> yep. So what do you guys think about this style? I love showing you guys how to wear your wigs in different ways. I think it's very, very important that you don't just have one thing and then use it just one way. You know, stretch yourself a little bit, try different things. You never really know. All right, so this is great. I would totally rock this to class. So any day I feel like looking cute to class, I would rock this. Yeah, so you guys should let me know if you would like to do this style and if you can do it in a better way. <laughs> Give me recommendations because I really need to make it look neater. But I like the way it's messy. It looks good as it's messy a little bit. Yup, so this is style number two. So now let's see what it looks like with the side part. I'm actually sad that I have to take this down. Don't worry, we'll do it again. <laughs>
Hey guys, so this is what the side part looks like. I had to define the curls again because when I opened up the part, you all could see that the hair on top was not looking as you know curly because I you know opened up the curls. So I decided to go in with just some water and some hair mousse. So if you have curly hair and you feel like oh the curls are not popping, all you need is water and hair mousse. Water and hair mousse repeat, and of course ensure it's good quality hair, just like this one I have on here. Yeah, so this is the final look, guys. Let me know which style you prefer. I feel like there's another way I can twist, you know, this side. I can also do like um drop two in the front and then maybe take pack everything else to the bag there are so many ways i can rock this week to be honest um i cannot wait to you know just be throwing this on wet it enjoy the cold and it's so great for this weather like spring so we're going out and we don't have to bother about all the length and you know the heat because it's getting hot actually <laughs> you just have this nice hair dropping on your shoulder and yeah i feel like this is great. I can't wait to, you know, style this, you know, wear outfits, go out, you know, just be a fine black babe on the streets of Manchester. <laughs> yeah, so let me know if you enjoyed this video. The link to this hair and more from your Lisa hair would be in the description box. So be sure to check it and also be sure to like, subscribe and enjoy the rest of your week or weekend. Bye guys.